Hey guys, Alex here, AG Automotive, and welcome back to another one. And behind me today, we have a 2021 Ford Ranger XL 4x2 single cab. But before we get into that, I just wanted to do a shout out to Booth's Ford at West Gosford, who were nice enough to lend me this vehicle to have a look at today. All right, so we start at the front, it's pretty much basic Ranger sort of style there. You've got the black grille, the Ford badge there, and you've got this sort of basic bumper there as well. It actually doesn't have the driving lights or anything like that. It's just sort of a, a basic sort of one there. But still it looks quite nice, I think, the black with the black grille. So what do you guys reckon? So the XL 4x2 Ranger runs 16 inch steel wheels and they're wrapped in Dunlop tyres and they do a really good job of not only road holding but also low noise as well. So and as you can see this one comes, this one's got a, a tray on the back, pretty heavy duty headboard there as you can see, it's pretty cool and then you've got the sides as well. So we'll just put those down, I'll show you how that works. So the sides do come down. So for easy loading and unloading. So we'll just put that back in there. So we come around to the back here. Obviously you can do the same with the back end as well. Underneath you got your spare tire there as well. And you can get fitted a tow bar if you wish. So yeah, all right guys, let's go and check out what's inside. All right guys, we're gonna have a look inside the XL Ranger 4x2. So, Door trim pretty much, you've got really hard plastics all around there. You've got a little bit of leather actually. It was nice and they put a little bit of leather in there. You do have your window switches there, your door lock controls there as well. A little bit of cubby hole space there. Have a look inside there. The cloth trim seats are quite nice as well. So um, yeah, I just wanted to show you here this interesting, it's not carpet, it's like a hard wearing sort of, yeah, floor lining, the lining in a way, and it, it's, it looks pretty good. So, um, yeah, let's jump in and have a look. All right, so we'll start with these. So we've got your headlight controls here and your dim, dimmers, uh, left and right you've also got your mirror switches there as well and then you've got your cruise control and menu buttons this side and you've got your audio and your phone settings and bit and settings buttons this side too so yeah so you can have a look on this stalk here your indicator if you have a look you've got the little lane departure warning there so a little bit of a safety feature there which is quite nice this side just your um basic uh, wipers there so pretty sort of straightforward then if we the, the steering wheel does look nice it is in most of the ranger range there so um they do um i think they do look nice so we've got a little bit of a cubby hole just up here we'll come down to ford sync system so pretty much what we've got we've got audio there which again, you've got a whole heap of stations there you can tune into. You've got phone, you can add your phone there as well. Uh, mobile apps does have Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, and then you've got your settings button there. You can uh, organize, you can have a look at a few different things there too. Uh, things with the, ve the, the vehicle settings, things like that. So, uh, and you can have display settings on uh, what you, what you, Put, you can turn the screen off if you wish uh, things like that so 
yeah so I'm um, pretty sort of pretty basic but it, it works further down obviously your ventilation either side further down you have some radio controls there your volume knob as you know I'm a bit of a fan with the volume knob there so that's really really good you've got the tune manual tune button and you've also got some tuning buttons as well there so auto tune buttons and things further down you have the air conditioning system pretty straightforward all the buttons there whether you're on recycled air aircon on off whatever you got your heater control and your fan speed there as well so pretty cool all right so further down we have a 12 volt plug a usb plug and another usb plug down there and there's a little bit of a cubby hole there you could probably put your phone or whatnot so five speed manual as you can sorry six speed manual um and reverse if i go and put it into reverse obviously nothing comes on the screen because it doesn't have a reversing camera this is something that i think ford should have put on this model you do get traction control off or on again handy for things like wet weather you do have twin cup holders the handbrake there and you do have a cubby hole there as well you do also have one on the top there as well my little top one on the glove box area there it's pretty sort of pretty big there you can fit a reasonable amount of stuff in there so again not too bad uh yeah so um all in all you can fit a bit down the back there too as well there's your jack behind the seat there as well um bits and pieces there if you need it so yeah all right guys well um let's go and check out what's uh under the bonnet all right guys just having a look under the bonnet of the xl ranger so the xl ranger runs a 2.2 liter four cylinder turbocharged diesel engine and it produces 118 kilowatts of power and 385 newton meters of torque and that's mated to a six-speed manual transmission all right guys let's go for a drive all right guys gonna go for a drive in the ranger xl so first impressions the seating so the seating's quite um quite comfortable and quite nice the cloth trim does a really good job being comfortable and holding you in and even someone like me six foot one 185 centimeters um you know as you can see i've got plenty of headroom there and i'm not cramped i've got plenty of room either side and leg room and foot room so yeah it's um it feels nice so vision out the front is really really good vision out the back is really good as well vision out the sides is great and you've got these big mirrors as well that uh you know you can see a bit of the tray while you're um you know in the mirror but they're big enough that you can see everything else as well so i like that um also things like i mean it's a basic ute but it's it does the job very well obviously you got things like air conditioning you got bluetooth phone bluetooth audio you've got apple carplay android auto um yeah you've got lane departure warning cruise control so you do get a fair bit of stuff in the basic xl ute which is really good And the turbo diesel, look, it's not it's not going to win any races, but it's it's good. It's got enough torque down low that you can um, you can get off uh, off the line quite easily, and you can carry a fair bit of stuff too. So yeah, and things like all the USB slots and things, you've always got. There's always you know you can always plug phones in to charge them or USBs. And you've got lots of pocket space. You know, up here you got bits down there in the doors there here you've got pocket space behind me so it's all in all it's um it's yeah it's pretty good actually yeah i um i quite like it i um i think it's it's actually i was a bit worried a bit worried about not being able to fit in one of these utes because in the past i've driven single cab utes that haven't been that comfortable but i will say that the ranger is 
quite a comfortable single cab ute even for myself so yeah i'm uh, i'm pretty happy with that yeah and i'm pretty sure that this has hill start assist so it's a lot easier to get off on the uh of the clutch which is really a good thing i just sort of noticed a couple of times just then i took my foot off the brake to um maneuver away and it uh it sort of didn't go anywhere so i was sort of happy with that yeah so um again it seems to another nice little feature that it has and yeah guys look other than that it's a it's a really nice ute for work you know if you're looking for a single cab ute for work go down and see ford have a look at this one this is a darker colored one a lot of the times you get them in white you can get them in whatever color you want uh but yeah uh, go and have a look at them go and test drive either this one or one of the others they've got there this is a four by two low rider so this one's the base base model and you can get a four by two high rider four by four and so forth and so forth so it um yeah it does have a bit of pickup from the turbo diesel, which I like that. I, it's good. It's got a lot of torque low down, so you can get the power up straight away, especially when you've got uh, you're carrying things. So, but I will say that it's um it's a little bit bumpy over bumps when it's unladen. If you put a few um, put a bit of weight in the back, it'll um even itself up a bit and be a little bit nicer over the bumps. But just when you're um, cruising along with nothing in the tray, you can feel it. So, uh, yeah. All right, guys. Well, uh, thank you for that. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you on the next one. All right. Thanks, guys.